Close your eyes, focus on your breath. And make this the one thing you're going to pay attention to right now. Breath coming in, breath going out. Give it your full attention. Give it your special attention. We want to get special results from our practice. We have to put special effort in. That means you're not going to wander away for even the slightest thing. And as soon as you do catch yourself wandering off, you come right back immediately. So we're trying to build something special here, trying to develop the goodness of the mind. Because the goodness of the mind is what provides for the goodness in everything else in life. And we don't want our goodness just to be ordinary old goodness. We want it to be something special, something that's really worth the effort that we put into it. And this is something that's unlike most of the things in the world, really does reward your efforts. There's so many jobs out there in the world where you put all your effort in and it's for nothing. You build something and then it just collapses. You make a change and someone else comes along and makes the change right back to where it was before, or worse than before. So what you want to do is focus on areas where you really do have some control, and it's in developing the qualities of the mind, the perfections of the mind, things like generosity, concentration, discernment. These are the things that really do repay your efforts, and they really can be, uh, become a focal point for what you want to develop in life. The Buddha talks about noble treasures, he t their teachings about the perfections. These are all qualities you build in the mind that then stick with you. These are things that you can take with you. There's so much in the world you can't take. You can't take your relationships, you can't take your money, you can't take your possessions, you can't take your body. But you can take the qualities of the mind. So you have to ask yourself what kind of qualities you're taking, what kind of treasures are you packing in your, in your suitcase as you prepare to go. You don't want to open up your suitcase and get to the other side and find that you've packed nothing but old scraps of cardboard and feathers and little pieces of rock. You want actual treasures. You want gold. You want silver. You want things that are of use, things that are of value. And so it's the good qualities of the mind. And the more that you develop these good qualities, the more special they become. Then the happier you are when you open your treasures to find what you've done, what you've developed, what you've brought with you. So as you do the practice, as you're practicing generosity, as you're practicing the, developing the precepts and developing the mind and concentration, remind yourself that the effort you put in really does pay off. And that's the kind of thing that there's no limit on how much effort you can put into it. The only limit is how much energy you have and how much motivation you have. And the motivation is something that you can stir up inside yourself. Sometimes the strength of the body may not be much, but you can strengthen the mind. Just reminding yourself that okay, the valuable things in life are the qualities of the mind. And these don't have to depend on the strength of the body. When you have the motivation that you want something special in life, okay, you do something special. You put special effort into your generosity, into your virtue, into your meditation. And then the special things that you want will come out. Not just ordinary goodness, special goodness, the kind of goodness that really does provide a sense of home, a sense of security for the mind. So when you open up your suitcase, when you've reached the other side, you find, oh my gosh, you've packed all kinds of treasures I hadn't even realized I had. Much better than opening up and finding just a lot of old garbage and scraps that you don't know where you collected. So if you want something special, you make a special effort, because it really does pay off.